Um, okay, here's the long overdue tutorial as to how to hack the Mushroom Kingdom stage in Melee. Um, well, I guess as far as changing the model and altering collisions can be called, you know, hacking. Uh, to start, I use Blender. I'm sure other programs are capable with my methods, but I've yet to test them. So, for a start, I'll show you some of the more common methods I use to make these hacks, as well as some of the commands. Uh, those of you who know Blender can skip ahead, this part isn't really important. Well, if you know how to use it. Alright, so this is your default environment. You won't be using it, you'll be using my file, but just so you know. Uh, pressing Ctrl X at any time, like watch I press Ctrl X, it asks to erase all and it'll do that. Um, okay, uh, with Blender there are three main letters used for manipulating the, the objects that you have selected. To select an object, you right click it. If I have two objects, here I'll add another one. I'll move it over here, see? It's like so you press hold down shift, right click another thing, select both, and I accidentally right click twice and it grabbed it. But yeah, that. Uh, if you press A, selects both, deselects both. If you have one thing selected, deselects it. Good. And also you can press Ctrl Z and you'll undo whatever you had just selected. Very useful. Anyway, say I want to move this cube. Press G. Hold down control, it snaps to a grid. Very important. Especially with my file, you're going to need to know how to make it snap to a grid. I'll explain that later. Uh, it moves the object depending on how your view is positioned. So if I hold down Alt and click, and I was to move it now, it, it moves it left, right, up, down from my view's point. Um, sometimes useful, but it's better to snap it to a grid always. To change view to one of the preset, like top right, you press uh, 1, 3, 2, etc. on uh, the numpad. It's pretty necessary. Like the main ones are one, three, and seven. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, hold down Shift Alt, and you move the view around like that. Okay. Anyway, we've gone through grabbing. Uh, if you press X, you can only move it along the X axis. Press Y, only move around the Y. But since we're viewing it from the front, you can't exactly see that. Z, only Z. If you want to move it exactly one to the right, you hop. You press X. You press 1, it's 1 to the right. Okay, that's grabbing. Rotating. Press R, and you go into this mode. Hold down control, you snap to some of the preset angles, or degrees. Same thing, you can type in like 50, go 50 degrees. And depending on your view, it does that. It applies to all of them. Say you only want to rotate in the Z, there, I'm rotating in the Z. Scale, that's S, that's the third one. X, Y, can't see it. Z, typical. But most of the time it just does the whole thing if you don't press one of the X, Y, or Zs. I uh, want to scale it to 2. Press 2. You can see it's typed down here. I press 2, press 1, 21. It goes like that. Uh, you'll see I've been cancelling all my movements. That's because if you grab, rotate, or scale something, press right click before you. If you like, you say you move it somewhere you don't like, right click, goes back. But if you regular click, it stays there. Very useful. Uh, another useful feature, press N, opens up the transform properties. Like, watch what happens when I move the cube to the right. It shows what the location is. Um, that's going to be useful later on, I'll explain. Uh, just a few more final notes, press Ctrl S, you save. I'm um, just going to save it like that. But you press Ctrl S again, it asks if you want to save over. If I was to move my cursor off, like I'm about to, it didn't save. You have to make sure to click it, otherwise you'll, it won't save. You can also press F2, enter, enter again, and it saves. Okay, last thing, tab. You go into edit the vertices mode, and we'll be in this a lot. You can select individual vertices, hold down shift, select multiple, press A, deselect, you know what I mean, uh, edges, faces and this makes it so you can't see the faces at the back like watch this see that vertice can't see it anymore and you can't select it anymore useful all right now that we've gone through the basics let's get started okay um, so this is the mushroom kingdom file the blend one you'll get in the pack I'll probably put it in the description or you can get it off my website also be in the description 
Um, this is a the vertices in this are an exact rip from the file, the grl1, I believe, grl1.dat. There's there's going to be one in the file, so you probably know this by now. If you're up to this stage of hacking, you know what it's called. Um, now, something you should know. I added these faces myself, they were not ripped. The only thing that was ripped to 100% accuracy was the vertices themselves. The faces, like if you don't know what a face is, that, that highlighted area cloud, that's a face. This is a vertice, just the thing by itself. So I added the faces, and they're all pretty accurate, but like, for instance, this cloud is a square, it's a quad. Normally what you'd have is you'd have a triangle, like those three points, and then another triangle. Uh, but yeah. Also, there's a few vertices I couldn't uh, add faces for because they were either too confusing or whatnot. Uh, they're usually in the center, just, I guess, ignore them, really, or hope that they don't come up. Um, but we're not up to the stage of actually model hacking yet. We need to see our collisions. So if you go to layer 2 or you press this button, or you just, you, you go to press the la number 2. Little. Press the number 2. There, see? Press 1 and 2, switches between layers. Uh, if you press down, if you hold down shift, you can select both layers. Okay, so this is layer 2, and this is where all your collisions are. Something to note. Um, oops, you go into vertice edit mode. That's what they are. Uh, collision for the left, collision for the right. This is what they look like. Something to note. See these? Oh yeah, by the way, I should probably mention this earlier. You press B, you go into um, box selection. You can select things with a box. Uh, press B twice, and you go into circle selection. You can just highlight stuff, and if you hold down Alt, oops, hold down Alt while doing it, you'll deselect stuff. Very useful. Uh, anyway, um, you see these up here? They're all supposed to be snapped around this middle one. So you, you grab it, hold down Control, move it down here, it's, that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, it's, I mainly didn't do that, I moved them out of the way because it get quite tedious because they're all in the exact same layer. Like, well, they're all above each other, so it would be impossible to work with. Uh, same applies for these two little lift collisions, they're also supposed to be here, like that. So just hold down control and move them down when you want to add the collisions. That's not important. Um, I should go over what you, like, well, basically, these are the collisions, if you'll notice, for some reason, the Mushroom Kingdom, it's got, despite this is a flat area, it's got a little bump there. Same applies for the middle platform, it's got two little indentations in the middle, despite being completely flat. I don't know why, maybe it's something to do with beta, but it's good, because it means, well, more collisions to work with. Uh, it should be noted, you can't change, like, this is a... This line, that's an edge collision. You can't change that into a floor collision by just moving it like that. It won't work. Your character will just slide down it anyway. And um, there is no collision down the bottoms of these. It's just n nothing there. Just a note. Uh, another thing, I'm about to collect them. These are all edges. That's right, you got three edges for each side. So that and that, they're all left hand edges. Another thing to note, you can't make a left hand edge into a right hand edge, so if I was to do this, you can't grab onto it from the right hand side now, it just won't work. Um, usually it involves some funny glitch of sorts, uh, one time I did it with Game & Watch, he flew into the sky and didn't die, but then he teleported to the bottom, I don't know, just stay away from that. Um, okay, that's one thing. Uh, I should go over what kind of collisions you can and can't have, and we're gonna leave this blender window so we can see my awesome Vegas skills. Alright, so let's go over some of the various, well, connections, collisions, and just angles you can and can't make with the floor, the walls, and unfortunately there's no gr there's no ceiling in Mushroom Kingdom. like. I don't know what's a good example. Okay, you know how in Great Bay, how when you try to jump underneath one of the platforms, you just stay there, you don't slide left and right? Uh, that's a ceiling. Uh, Mushroom Kingdom has none of those, and the closest thing you come to a ceiling is the underside of those blocks, but that the way that works is you bump it and the block breaks, so you're going to have to make do without ceilings. I'll explain several alternatives later. Alright, so 
Say you ran out of well say say you ran out of collisions and you have to resort to like you know fusing two collisions together like okay I'm basically in this this can be any two collisions like this this golden one can be a block and this can be the wall well not wall what do I say this can be a block and this can be one of the main floors this could be two blocks this can be two main floors it's just showing how you combine them okay for starters so if this is like if that's the floor and these are the two walls of the blocks you can't combine them like that they can be on the same height but no you can't do that because what what usually happens is your character walks along reaches this point and like act goes into their like wall leaning animation it thinks it's reached an, reached an edge you can't do that all right what you can do is you can make angles like this so your character will walk along and go up since the edges are down here there's no problem like they won't think they're on an edge and again I, I use the gold and the brown blocks when it can be anything like these can be two one of those it can be two of those breakable bricks it can be two of those regular floors that you can't break the you know the three main floor platforms of the stage etc this you can't do you can do this you can't do this um, let's say I'm, I'm just going to refer to the, f the part, like the floor part as the positive space and the outside as negative space. You, if you have a smaller angle in the negative space than you do in the positive, that's okay, safe. If you have a larger one, you can't do that, you can't have a point. Your character will just walk up here and go into the leaning animation again. Very bad. Most of the time, like if you try running, they'll just slide off and fall for a split second. It's very bad. This you can do. Like this is a floor, wall floor no problem like they don't slip in between these cracks it's safe I I use this kind of collision in my polygon um, this is just an example this is one of the main floor the the middle one like the main middle floor that you can't break can't interact with uh, you can do that because remember it had those two bumps I showed in blender you can move those up you can move those down you can make any angle with them since they're actually programmed it's okay so this is like your only opportunity to have a point like this without without it making errors so you're gonna have to resort to using just these for your positive angles, I guess. Can't do this. Uh, it's pretty much the same deal as here, except doesn't matter if they're both at an angle; it won't work. Um, okay, this one's hard to explain. Um, pretend that there's no top half. This is this is showing an example for like when you're trying to make a floor for it. Like if you have a hovering stage and you want your character to go underneath it, this is showing what you can't do. Uh, I should probably explain it. These two green things, they're, they're just um, two blocks, two of those breakable blocks. The dark green area is the floor of the block that normally when you hit with your head, the block breaks. These slightly darker green, these are the floor that you can walk on. So as you can see, I rotated them so that the floors were standing out and the two breakable areas would be, would be like that. Uh, you can't, like normally what you'd have is you'd have a walkable thing above it because otherwise, you'd have a walkable thing here, because otherwise your character would just slide like that. Uh, okay, so basically, uh, just pretend, look at the bottom, ignore the top. Uh, so if your character was underneath this stage and they jumped up like this, they'd go, Neow. if they jump from this side, they'd go up, go that way. Simple enough. Uh, just a note, you, you'd have to make it so that they can't reach these two floor areas, otherwise they'll just... They'll do what Sonic does in Sonic 4 and stand vertically. Or, or is it horizontally? I don't know. Mainly, the point is, you can't do this because due to the fact that there's a corner here and the two breakable floors are there, they, if you do it a precise jump, you actually break the two blocks because it'll register it as your character having bumped its head on the bottom of the block and they'll disappear. Um, unfortunately, I haven't found a way to stop them from disappearing, so you're going to have to make do with that. Okay, this next part. This you can do. You can't do this, you can do this. Basically, all I did was I made it so that the walkable floor is in the middle and the two breakable parts are on the outside. You'll still have to cover up the, cover up the breakable parts, but if your character was to jump from the bottom here, for some reason, they don't glitch. Like, they don't go into their standing animation. They just don't react. So, if you have the two walkable floors in the center, or when you make the seam, it's okay, it's safe. And you can't do half and half, like... As if you have a breakable floor down where there is a... S okay, let's put it this way. If you have a breakable floor where there's a seam, it'll never work. But you can do this. 
Um, see how the breakable floors are out of harm's way, and these are just two walls? So your character will just slide up and stay there, and on the other side, if you jump, slide up, stay there. Uh, I don't know when you'd want to have that in your stage, but, oh well. I think this is the same thing. Why did I do it twice? Oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah. Um, another point, you can't do this, like, with this one, see the two breakables were outside, and this one they're not, they're still in the center. See, they're too close to the seam. You have to keep all breakables and all walkables away from the seam, otherwise you're screwed. Oh yeah, this is this just shows a method of combining. Um, this red one, that's one of the main flaws, like one of the three smaller flaws that you can't break, they're not the bricks. The bricks are the ones that are going to give you the trouble, the regular flaws are much more friendly. Anyway, uh, see this brick? This is where, if it was uh, rotated correctly, you would stand on this side, and if you bumped your head on this side, it would break. Simple enough. Uh, you can combine them like this for some reason. Your character would just go up and slide up this part. They won't have any interaction with this breakable floor. And you can do it like this. Even though there's a walkable floor here, they'll just slide up and they'll ignore it. So the red, the red parts, the ones you can't destroy, they're very safe. And this next one should be obvious, but don't flip breakable blocks upside down. You just fall through the top, which is, which is supposed to be on the bottom. And if you try to hit it from the bottom, your character will just, yeah, like you saw, teleport. Quite weird. Alright, just some last things to record before we're done here. Um, see this? Um, this is just an example of how walls and ceilings work. Like, even though this ceiling... Oh, what am I saying? Ceil even though this floor, you can walk on it, but it's one of those that you can't press down to fall through. It's just a regular floor. Even though it's like that, you can still go through the bottom of it and come out the top as if th there was nothing there. Same applies for walls. You can't go through the left hands. If you're coming from the left, you can't go through the wall. If you're coming from the right, you just go through it as if it wasn't there. That applies for every collision. Um, I don't know, just the more you know. Alright, I think that's everything you need to know when you want to combine collisions. Uh, coming soon will be the second part of this tutorial. Well, probably not soon, probably in a week. These things take a while, you know. Um, any final notes? I don't know, something fat daddy ink related, you know the drill.